Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the numerical analysis. Today we will discuss about order of convergence regular falsi method. That is a very simple and a short proof I have described in this lecture. Myself Dr. Harish Gar. You can simply follow my YouTube channel where you can find the various lectures related to this numerical analysis and its MATLAB code. As you can see there is a bisection method regular falsi we already covered that. Second method uh, example of the second method, MATLAB code of the second method, fixed point equation method, Newton option, Gauss simulation, Gauss Jordan, and many more are there. All you can see in this playlist numerical analysis. So let's start with this one. So as I described you in the, our last lecture, what is the regular falsi method? This the iterative scheme for the regular falsi method is here. The major point which comes in this regular falsi method is in this method the one point is always fixed. And we can find the other point. Like if you have the initial point x1 and x1, so this is equation number one. In the next equation, one of the point is fixed. Say x1 is fixed, and then you have to move for the second point. B. Find the next point. Say x1 is again fixed, then you can find the new point, and so on. So that means the one point is always fixed, and other point you have to vary to find the better approximate rule. Also, we have defined the order of the convergence. So, if you have the sequence x1, x2, and xn like of this, you can substitute the value of the x0, then you can get x1, then x2, and so on. So, if it is converges to the alpha, where alpha, how you can find the value of the alpha? This is nothing but limit as n approaches infinity of this, such that because uh, because this is the approximate root, so xn is always with the approximate root. The difference between them is called as the error. Then if there exists a real number p such that this condition hold then we can say or or also you can see if i substitute this value in here and this then you can write this equation as here so from this you can simply say p is called as the order of convergence so that means for what value of the p is hold this is called as order of convergence if p is equal to 1 if i say this p is my 1 and c is my less than 1 then we can say the convergence is linear and c is equal as the rate of convergence on the other hand if p is greater than 1 and p is equal to 2 then we call as a super linear or quadratic respectively now based on this definition of the order of convergence so basically we need to evaluate this expression fine so now we can start with the regular falsi method so let's say f of x is 0 is the any of the equation our target is to find the root of this equation let alpha is the root of f of x is 0. So if alpha is the root, it means f of alpha is my 0. Since we are talking about the order of convergence, so we need the value of the error. So let us consider epsilon n minus 1, n and n plus 1 is the error corresponding to the approximation n minus 1, xn and xn plus 1. What is the meaning of that? We can find the expression of this. Now I can substitute this value in this regular falsi method what is xn plus 1 from here we can found the value of xn plus 1 what is xn is alpha plus xn minus what is the xn is alpha plus epsilon n minus alpha minus of epsilon n minus 1 divided by alpha plus epsilon n minus f of epsilon of this and here now clearly sees that alpha will be cancelled out here alpha will be cancelled out the remaining expression i can re rewrite as here now our target is to find firstly the value of this and this how you can find that i can use the taylor series expansion why we can use the taylor series because this value is is a very very small number then we can expand this by taylor series and neglect the higher power of this neglect this and the higher powers fine so once you higher power of what higher power of epsilon n so if you write this in the taylor series we can write as here now what is the value of the f of epsilon f of alpha this is zero so this value will be zero this value will be zero so this expression is nothing but my here now i can substitute the f of this and this so basically i can subtract them so if you subtract both of them what will happen you can get this expression here again you can see i can write this term as epsilon n minus of this and epsilon n plus of this 
fine so i can take this as a common which can be written like here now since we need we calculated this value so i can take the ratio of this so what will happen if you take the ratio it is nothing but i can take this on this side that is a reciprocal i can take f dash is a common so it comes to be here now how you can expand this series we can apply the binomial theorem it is 1 minus x plus x square over 2 factorial minus x cube over 3 factorial and so on since epsilon n is a very small number so we can neglect the higher powers are there so we can simply write 1 minus x now substitute this value in the given expansion of this this is the series i can substitute this value also i can substitute this value by using the taylor series now i can open this bracket if you if you open this bracket like first one to be here and then one to be this and finally you can substitute this and then here so there are the terms are there now clearly see this value will be cancelled out this value will be cancelled out since epsilon n cube is a higher power so we can neglect this value similarly this value is neglected the only term left is my here so because this is negative this is negative i can rewrite as positive here this value is my constant so i can consider this as a c as per the definition of order of convergence so what is the meaning of that this epsilon n plus 1 is c of this fine now as per the concept of the regular falsi method there is a one point is always fixed it means we need to find only the one new point so therefore this equations becomes my here i call c as my this value is my c then out of instead of the two consecutive values we need only the one value so one value is fixed i fixed value i call as L, epsilon not and other value here what is the meaning of that i can say this value is nothing but proportional to of this because this number is my constant fine so once this will be happen then or you can say this is epsilon n plus 1 is of this raised to power 1 fine now if you compare if you compare this equation with the help of this epsilon n raised to power p where p is called as order of convergence so if you compare them you can see p is my 1 so once p is my 1 so what is the meaning of that you can say the regular falsi method is linear in convergence so that's a very very simple short proof about the order of convergence of this regular falsi method we will see the next lecture on the second method and its order of the convergence till then you can simply like share and comments on my video best of luck students happy learning